Makarios, a devotional for the season of Lent, produced by Northside Church. Sunday, March 31st, Easter Sunday, Happy Easter. With Easter Sunday and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we have come to the end of a journey that we began all the way back on the first Sunday of Advent. During that season and through the season of Christmas, we learned that the image of God displayed in the birth and life of Jesus is that of kenosis, emptying of self in order to be filled with God's will and presence. During the season of Lent, we explored what it looks like for the life of the disciple by mapping out the path of Makarios, the flourishing life of discipleship that Jesus teaches us in the Beatitudes, the Lord's Prayer, and the Sermon on the Mount as a whole. By following Jesus on this path as disciples, from being poor in self to becoming peacemakers, we are restored in the image of God in which we were created, what we have traditionally called the process of sanctification. For Jesus, this path led ultimately to rejection, persecution, and death, even death on a cross. This was our response to God emptying God's self to become one of us so that he may be in relationship with us and lead us to the flourishing life he always wanted us to have. But today we are reminded that the world's rejection and our rejection of Jesus Christ is not the end of the story. In the resurrection of Jesus Christ, God rejects our rejection of him and shows us exactly where the kingdom, the power, and most of all, the glory actually reside. This is why we pray. For thine is the glory forever. God's beautiful glory shines with love and grace, overcoming all obstacles and barriers, even death itself. It inspires love and awe, praise and silence as it both humbles us and lifts us up. God's glory is God's love, and it's God's glory that not only raised Jesus from the dead, but also exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. Through God's glory, death could not separate Jesus from the love of God. Just as nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Romans chapter eight, verse 39. Indeed, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a promise to those who have followed the path of Makarios. If Christ was raised, then so shall we be. And here's the good news of Easter. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Jesus Christ is but the first fruits of an abundant and eternal harvest of the flourishing life that is promised to all of us who follow him. As Paul puts it, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. Romans chapter 6, verses 4 through 5. Notice how Paul talks here, though. Yes, bodily resurrection awaits us all one day, just as one day each of our bodies will die. But we have already been united with Christ in his death through our baptism. And so, too, we are already united with Christ in his resurrection so that we live resurrected lives even now this very day. In other words, our resurrection in Jesus Christ has already begun if we believe and follow him. The eternal life that is Makarios doesn't begin someday after we die, but rather the moment we believe. As Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? John chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. Do we believe this? Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Not later, but now. Not tomorrow, but today. Every day that we arise from the bed is an opportunity to rise from the dead, put our feet on the path of Makarios, and follow Jesus into the life eternal and abundant. Every day a resurrection, each moment an invitation to the flourishing life, 
regardless of where we are on the path or even where we might have left off before, because every day we begin again. Flourishing are the poor in self. If we believe this, if we believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the eternal life he offers us today, and we walk this path together daily, then truly we will be the salt of the earth and the city on the hill that Jesus called us to be. We will become a beacon of hope and of God's love, shining the image of God into the world around us, drawing others out of the darkness of death and into the light of resurrection. Come, let us walk in the light of the Lord and into the life of his resurrected and flourishing church. To God be the glory forever. Amen. Amen.